All right. So uh, Paul and I are here to demo the um, work that he's been doing to uh, build a proof of concept integration of VS Code running on the web to replace our web IDE. So before the recording, we were talking about breaking this up into a few different parts. Uh, this will be part one. And Paul, I'll let you take it over and just kind of give an overview of what that means and how it works and what kind of benefits for, for we would gain from moving to VS Code for our web IDE. OK. Uh, can you hear me OK? Yep. All right. So um, I have the local GDK running after following these instructions on our proof of concept MR. And so I'm just going to go pick a project. Uh, maybe there's a more interesting one than GitLab test. Uh, I'll pick lab code. Um, and then click on the web ID button. But what we're demonstrating, what we did the architectural spike on is instead of loading our homegrown built view app of the web IDE, we're going to load a, um, a customized bootstrap of a web build of VS code. So the local VS code editor comes in a browser build and we can load custom extensions on it, which let us seamlessly integrate with GitLab, hopefully. Um, so this is it all bootstrapping. It's pulled the file tree from the project that I just loaded. And I can use, here's all cool hotkeys that come baked out of the box. I'm going to hit F1. I can start running commands. Uh, but I'm also going to, I'm just going to look for the readme file. And I'm here editing the readme file. And I can make changes nicely, as I would expect. And I can view those changes in the source control um, tab. But I don't have baked out actually committing this. Uh, but um, that's, that's what we're working on. But a lot of just the editing features that come out of the box is really neat of how smooth this is. So out of the box, I can preview. Um, I can also, I don't know, start opening up other things on that tab. Like, so here's my preview, and then I'm going to open up this on other tabs. And I, I'm, I'm not even familiar with this, but you can keep splitting things. Uh, like at VS Code lets you split things indefinitely however you want. Um, there's also some cool, uh, um, there's some things you get in the footer here of um, where usually you would have like your terminal. We don't have a terminal, but we do can have problems and output and other extensions can write to this. So like you can actually see a list of what maybe like my linting problems are um, that will show up. But if I've opened up files, so let's also just open up some Kotlin files. If I open up, yeah, let's open up. And let's find another Kotlin file or whatever. So I open up these these files. Um, also lets me do the search. So I can start searching for whatever files I've opened. I can search um, out of the box. It, it knows about the contents it's seen. And so I could do a um, context aware search across files, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, are there any other editing things you think we should look at? I mean, I think that the important thing is like you've already shown probably <laughs> six to 12 iterations of our current uh, web IDE to try and get yeah. this kind of functionality. I mean, the the split view of multiple tabs and rearranging those, the finding files across um, uh, across your open files, finding right clicking, finding text, right clicking to create yes. a can you go like create a new file or a new directory from there? Yeah, right click to I, create a new directory. Right. That's all. That alone is something we know that Web IDE can't do, and people want to do, and you know expect to do. Yeah. So like we could do like you know shift click to like multiple things, everything you kind of expect from the an mm -hmm. intuitive file system um, does come out of the box here, which is really nice. Even like dragging and dropping to like yeah, to drag and drop. Yeah. So. Excellent. Well, in part two, I'm going to tease, watch this transition. I'm going to tease in part two, we're going to talk about extensions. 
So, okay. All right. Tune in.